sit back and listen to our math class. In today's class, we are going to learn the concept transpose of a matrix and its properties with some of the problems. Transpose of a matrix means in the in a matrix, if we are interchanging the rows and columns of that matrix, then that is known as the transpose of a matrix. The definition is the transpose of a matrix is obtained by interchanging rows and columns of of the respect to matrix of A and it is denoted by A transpose. This A T means A transpose. For any two matrices A and B of suitable orders we have. These are the uh, some of the properties of transpose of a matrix. So, A transpose the whole transpose equal to A. So, if you are transposing a matrix and again if you are transposing it, then you will gain the original matrix. K into A the whole transpose equal to K into A transpose. If you are multiplying, this K is a scalar. So, here KA the whole transpose that is Consider A as a matrix and if you are multiplying that matrix with any scalar quantity and then you are tra taking a transpose means that will be equal to that scalar quantity into the A transpose. Here if you are adding two matrices and then you are taking the transpose that will be equal to the individual transpose of that matrix that is A plus B the whole uh, transpose equal to A transpose plus B transpose. This is reversal law on transpose. If you are multiplying two matrix and you are taking the transpose means that will be equal to if you are multiplying A and B then A and B and you are getting you are uh, taking the transpose then you will get the reverse B transpose into A transpose. So, A B the whole transpose will be equal to B transpose into A transpose. So, the properties are first property A transpose the whole transpose equal to uh, A. K into A the transpose equal to K A transpose. A plus B the whole transpose equal to A transpose plus B transpose. A B the whole transpose equal to B transpose into A transpose. Now we can do some problems. We have to find 3A the whole transpose equal to 3 into A transpose. So first take a left hand side. First find the 3A. 3A means multiplying this matrix A with the scalar 3. So matrix is 462, 0, 1, 5, 0, 3, 2. So while multiplying 3, 4 are 12. 3, 6 are 18, 3, 2 are 6, 3 into 0, 0, 3 into 0, 0, 3, 1 are 3, 3, 3 are 9, 3, 3 are 15, 3, 2 are 6. So 3A, 3A the whole transpose means taking transpose for this. So while taking transpose what we will get 12, 0, 0. Transpo transpose means interchanging the rows and columns. So this first column can be written as first row. Next second column is second row and third column as third row. So 3a the whole transpose is 12, 0, 0, 18, 3, 9, 6, 15, 6. Here what they have given equal to 3, 3a the whole transpose equal to 3 into a transpose. So if I am taking 3 common here, what I will get? 4, 6, 2, 0, 1, 5, 0, 3, 2. So this 4, 6, 2, 0, 1, 5, 0, 3, 2 is the transpose of this matrix A. Because here in first column 4, 0, 0. Here first row 4, 0, 0. Second column 6, 1, 3. Here second row 6, 1, 3. Here third column 2, 5, 2. Here third column 2, 5, 2. So this value is equal to the transpose of this matrix A. So 3A transpose. Finally we can write that 3A the whole transpose equal to 3 into A transpose. Hence we have verified this.
here a plus b the whole transpose equal to a transpose plus b transpose we have to verify this value of a and b has been given so first take this side first find the a plus b so a plus b means value of first you have to add the first entry with this first one so 4 plus 0 4 6 plus 1 7 2 minus 1 1 Next 0 plus 3, 3, 1, minus 1, 0, 5 plus 4, 9, 0 minus 1, minus 1, 3 plus 2, 5, 2 plus 1, 3. Next take transpose of this. So A plus B the whole transpose equal to first column will be written as first row. Next second one is second row. Third one is third row. Now this is our value for A plus B the whole transpose. Next what we have to find? We have to find the value of A transpose and B transpose and we have to add it. First row is 4, 0, 0. Second row was 6, 1, 3. Third row was 2, 5, 2. Next what we have to do? Next we have to find the B transpose. So B transpose equal to first row 0, 3, minus 1. Second row 1, minus 1, 2. Third row minus 1, 4, 1. Next what we have to do? We have to add the A transpose and B transpose. So A transpose plus B transpose equal to First entry with the first entry. So 4 plus 0. Second one with the second one. So 0 plus 3. Third one with the third one. So minus 1 plus 0. Next 6 plus 1. Next 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1. Next 3 plus 2. Next 2 minus 1. Next 5 plus 4. And at last 2 plus 1. So while we are adding what we will get 4 plus 0 is 4, 0 plus 3 is 3, minus 1 plus 0 minus 1, next 6 plus 1 7, 1 minus 1 0, 3 plus 2 5, 2 minus 1 1, 5 plus 4 9, 2 plus 1 3. Here A plus B the whole transpose is 4 3 minus 1 7 0 5 1 9 3. Now here A transpose plus B transpose is 4, 3, minus 1, 7, 0, 5, 1, 9, 3. Hence we have verified that A plus B the whole transpose equal to A transpose plus B transpose. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos related to both school and college maths. Thank you.